Welcome to episode 6 of Data Science and AI Weekly. Hi everyone, my name is Manav, I'm the Chief Data Science Mentor at INSET. Uh, this is a series of podcasts in which I talk about everything ranging from uh, data science and AI and uh, trends, career options, opportunities and how to essentially get started in these exciting areas. Right. So we have another exciting topic for today's podcast but before that let me just give you a quick brief if you have not listen to the first few episodes do ensure that you have done that and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you're constantly receiving notifications about the next few podcasts that will get uploaded soon so let's move now to this episode which is episode 6 and in this episode we are going to discuss about top 7 data science interview questions that you need to be prepared for right so now why top 7 I could have made it top 10 as well but it would have become a little long so what I thought is that one of the questions that I get asked very often is that Mano what are some of the top interview questions I should prepare for when I'm going for data science interviews so let me share some of these interview questions one at a time and these are interview questions that you would see not in 50 not in 60 not in 70 but mostly 99% or at least 90% of the interviews. So let's start with these questions. So the first question that you are likely to see in any data science interview is you will be asked questions about your project. Some of the projects that you would have undertaken so far or executed undertaken so far or executed so far so you'd be asked questions for example which was your most challenging data science project that you have worked on so far right and you'd be asked to describe the problem statement what are the challenges you know the the kind of results that you delivered etc so that's a question that you are likely to see in every data science interview what is the most challenging data science interview question question number two you would be asked question on the trends that you are excited about or you are following in the world of data science. So most of the interviews want to know why are you in data science and what kind of stuff that you read in data science because this is not a stagnant field where the technology is defined where everything is fixed today you might be working in python tomorrow your company might be ex might expect you to work on tensorflow as well so they want to know how how fast a learner you are and they get an indication of that when they are trying to assess through uh, uh, some of the trends that you follow right so be prepared for a question like this you might might not see this in every interview but something that i highly recommend you to get prepared for question number three you would be definitely asked a question tell us about your favorite machine learning algorithm or tell us an algorithm that you are the strongest in and this is a personally my favorite question because one of the ways i judge a candidate is that a lot of candidates write tens of machine learning algorithms names in their resumes right and i know that most likely they are not the best in everyone so i want to know what you are best in and interviewers want to know that how if you're saying that you're the best in a particular uh, machine learning algorithm how deeply you know that machine learning algorithm so be prepared for choosing one machine learning algorithm let's say that you you choose linear regression but if you have chosen linear regression you need to ensure that you are going deep into linear regression and be prepared to have possibly the entire interview in itself centered around linear regression. I've seen instances where in the entire 45 minutes interview was about linear regression itself. So the interview can go that deep. So you need to ensure that you are sufficiently prepared for going deep in a particular machine learning algorithm, right? So this was question number three. Now let's take another question, which is you likely see, which is question number four. You might be asked, theoretical questions about data science for example you might be asked some basic questions the difference between supervised algorithms unsupervised algorithm now those might sound sound like very basic questions but trust me sometimes candidates get get confused even in those questions right so you need to be prepared for answering questions that as well so you need to be really strong with some of these basic definitions algorithms that you have written your in your resume and you need to that's why before coming for the interview uh, you need to go through every thing that you have res written in your resume and be prepared for facing any questions from there yeah so this is question number 
for uh, question number five. Question number five would be focused on what value do you think you bring to the table to the role that you have applied for, right? For example, you were applying for a data science role at, let's say, JP Morgan, or let's say Novartis, or let's say Vodafone, and let's say a Microsoft, right? So you need to be clear about the kind of work that particular company is doing in data science, and why would you, how would you add value to it because you don't want to just be seen that someone is looking to just be seen that someone is looking for you or looking for a job in data science that's why you applied to multiple companies and that's why now you are here interviewing for the role so you want to show that you there is some logic between what you're looking to do and what your passions are and what you have done so you need to draw that bridge if you're drawing that bridge trust me your life would become much much simpler and your chances of getting selected uh, are going to be uh, even better, right? Question number six would be about your mm -hmm. understanding of what uh, data scientists would do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So you might be asked questions about what are your favorite parts about about being a data scientist? What are your not so good parts about, a, about being a, a data scientist? So what essentially the company is trying to do is that company would, an organization would, or a recruiter would be possibly looking for some focus areas within or key areas, key skills to fill in in his team and they would want to assess whether you have those key skills or not. So be as honest as possible. Don't boast too many things. Don't brag about things that you can't uh, justify. So be uh, uh, be sure that whatever you're uh, speaking represents your true skill set. So you might be asked, for example, uh, which one do you enjoy more? Do you do data cleaning more or do you like client interaction more? Right. So. If you say that I like client interaction more, but you you uh, actually have not done a lot of client interaction, so you would not want to do that. Say that I like data cleaning more, if that's what you think that your strength is. So there's nothing called good data science, bad data science. Say what you have actually done. And last question and question number uh, seventh about top interview questions that you need to uh, you need to uh, be prepared for is tool based questions. So you need to be ready for being asked questions related to let's say that you have put your a resume Python. So you should be ready to answer questions related to Python. It can be any kind of questions depending on what you have written. If you have for example said that I'm an expert in Python, you should be ready for expert level questions in Python. If you have written a tool like R also in your resume, so you might get a question on R and that's why what I'd recommend is to ensure that you are not getting bold in that question. What you need to ensure is in your resume, if you can mention your expertise level in that particular tool, right, that would certainly give an indication to the uh, interviewer what is your proficiency level. For example, if I see a candidate has written R in his resume, but they have written, uh, let's say, beginner level. So I'm not going to quiz that candidate on expert level uh, proficiency uh, questions in the interview. So those are seven interview questions. I'm sure some of these things you would have forgotten by now. So what I'd recommend is going through the podcast all over again, listing down all of these questions in your notebook and saving it for future. Because if you're doing these, preparing for these seven interview questions well, trust me, you would be prepared significantly for the kind of interview questions that you would likely to see in a data science interview, right? So those are my top questions for data science interviews. If you think that I missed any questions, feel free to type in in the comment section. I hope you love this video. My attempt through this podcast series is to ensure that you have the most realistic idea about what the entire field of data science is like. Feel free to share your feedback. Feel free to share your comment in the chat section, uh, in, in the comment section as well. And if you want to hear or if you want us to make a video on any particular topic that you would like, just let us know. We would be there with a video on a topic that you would want to I want us to talk about. Thank you very much for tuning into this podcast. My name is Manav and I'm signing off for this podcast.